Hey y'all. Hey, hey. I'm Johnny. And I'm Colleen. And welcome to Camp Keel. Off grid. Yeah, so <laughs> this is our first segment yes. of an ongoing saga, as you might say, <laughs> of us moving up to the UP. Yes. Finding some property. Yes. Going off grid. Yes. Buying building whatever that may be we don't know yet we haven't figured it out <laughs> we're winging it we're gonna put something together but we want to take you all on the ride yeah, so we want you to follow along and right now we are in front of the Mackinac Bridge better known as Mighty Mac it is and, and every time that we cross this bridge we always know that an adventure awaits ahead of us so we hope you follow anything along anything is <laughs> everything is, let me rephrase that everything is better when you go that across is true. Uh, uh, across Mac and that is true also yes we're literally standing on Lake Michigan. As uh, we actually, speak. we're on Lake Huron side. Oh, it's right. Lake Huron this well, side, Lake Michigan right. on that side, we're but that's okay. Lake... <laughs> Anyways, make sure you follow us along. Obviously, on YouTube right now, we are also on Instagram, Camp Keel Off Grid. It's gonna be fun. It's K A M P. M P. That's right. K U E H L. <laughs> Alrighty. Y'all stay with us and uh, follow along the journey. Can't wait to show you what's next. That's awesome. Cheers, guys. The Mackinac Bridge, better known as Mighty Mac. I think Mighty Mac's a way cooler name than Mackinac Bridge. It opened in November of 1957, connecting the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. It is the fifth, the fifth? Yep. Man, ah, man, I think it should be like the second longest suspension bridge <laughs> right? in the world. Coming in at five miles long. On one side of the bridge, if you're heading north, we'll start with the left side, is Lake Michigan. And on the right side is Lake Huron. But the water beneath the bridge is called the Straits of Mackinac. What used to take hours by boat, and that's a motorboat, not oars, only takes a few minutes of a drive. There is a toll of $4, but it is worth the price of admission to what the Youpers affectionately call God's country. Join us this weekend as we start our search for land in the UP and wanting to live a simpler life. All right, hey everybody. We hey have been on the road now for about oh, six and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, a couple of uh, stops. Got pit stops along yeah, the way. Right? A little film session at the bridge. A little shenanigans, you know. Pictures here and there. Yeah, but anyways, we are close to our first destination. Trekking. Yeah, check out property number one. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted on that, but I'm excited. It's going to be pretty cool. A beautiful, sunshiny it day. It is. It's a perfect it's, day. Yeah, what's uh, that? A whopping 18 degrees. That's okay. So, it's a heat wave. Yeah, it is, right? Awesome. Well, hey, y'all. Hey. So, uh, we just stopped at our first property. We, we met. Did. We met with our realtors. Yeah. And uh, come to find out, I mean, someone's already back. Right. Gone, uh, done some snowshoeing back there. So. Cool. Which is very cool. Because we have ours. We do. <laughs> but but the, the details on the property is it's kind of marshy and a ton of bugs in the spring. Yeah. And the spring and the late summer. So, so it's a little more low-lying, I think, than we were looking a lot for, of, I mean, great for if you want to harvest cedar and stuff like that. Right. Um, what you right. said. And, uh, I mean, so that's, I mean, yep. that's pretty nice. It but is. for what we want to do, it's... We don't think it's the right it's, fit. Oh, it's, it's definitely no, not the right fit. No, no, no. So, anyways, we are going to uh, go check in our hotel. Yep. And uh, we're going to convene at the Oradoc yeah, with, with our with our realtors. Yeah, we're gonna have and, a little beer and chit chat over land. Go over uh, a lot of details, and, uh, and we have get some more properties lined up for and uh, the game plan is for tomorrow, right? For tomorrow, so yeah, yeah. we're uh, super excited. Um, I keep looking back because I mean it's a. I mean, it looks pretty cool. You look, can see. Look, look at that snowshoe trail. So it's that's like the trail that just screams. It's like, okay, let's go snowshoe. I know, I know. I mean, we, we thought we were going to be doing that, but that's okay. Let's but, go get ready for uh, round it's on two. Private property. We actually we could. Well, we we could. do have permission we do. for today only. We do. But I think we're good, honey. We're good. We're gonna go. Like really. Thicker than we thought. How do you? 
how do you start that? We're at the property yeah, that we're checking are. out today. Oh. Property for three. Three today. <laughs> no, second one today. Do you want your big gloves too? saying that we have everything pretty much up on the car and whatever we need. And I'm like, pretty much too. This is really exciting. Oh my God, I forgot how to do this. Yeah, honey. Like that? Yep. Right? Right. And then tuck, tuck, the, tuck the lace in the, into this. Where? Right behind your, it's right behind your heel. So we got our snowshoes on. Yep. Now to set up the poles. <laughs> Which I'm trying my new poles this time. Right. Which I won from Greg Morton Outdoors. Thank you. Yeah. I know. I still have my Fox Alley poles. Oh my god. I don't know how to do these. Oh, easy, easy. What's this from? Oh. So, anyways. Um, how on earth do I do this? We gotta take this vel take that velcro off. Like this? Uh -huh. Like with an elastic? Yep. Uh oh, I just busted it. Oh, that's all right. Okay. No big deal. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what are you? This is a learning curve. This thing. A, yeah, you haven't used them yet. Let me get my pole set up real quick yeah. here. Not bad out. It's only oh, about on eight. Me, it's only about 18 degrees out. Nothing is it 18? crazy. Yeah. No wind. Which is nice. Very calm. So we're on today. The first property we looked at was 40 acres and it was very densely wooded. I mean, and like, like swamp land again, too. And a lot of swamps. So we, uh, we made an elective decision so not to look at it. And uh, you know, we've, we've been told uh, heavy bugs in the spring. Yep. So we're like, no. Oh, you're bleeding. So, um, I just got a little nick. So now we are setting up our second property today. 
Yeah. And uh, this one's a lot more doable. This is a little over 22 acres that we're going to check out. And uh, should be a lot of fun. There's already kind of like a pre driveway already set up. And. <laughs> I can't figure out my new pole. Yeah, we have the same problem. I just won awesome. these in a contest. Oh, did you? Yeah. See this little thing is a little no, thing? No, yeah. I guess I oh, bleeding. you are bleeding. You're fine. So, yeah, this thing, you pull that and it snaps oh. into place. And then, oh, those are nifty. Right. Where's, your, uh, where's your 90 degree? Right, right there. Right there? Let me just tighten that up a little bit. We both broke a thumbnail trying to fix ours. <laughs> right. right on. It's so, cold and so, dry. So these it are, uh, yeah, Colleen won these. Uh, what are these? Taser? No, Tech Niners. Tech Niners. She got one of these from Greg Morton. So these yep. are really cool. All you do is get to this point here, lock that in place, okay. snap it, and then it just. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> What was your measurement at? I don't know. Second bar. Okay, thanks. Yeah. All They're right. kind of cool. I like them. Yeah. They're uh, carbon fiber, I think. I wow. think so. Fancy. Yeah. They are pretty fancy pants. <laughs> I know. They're even fancier because you want them in That's a contest. That's right. They're free. Thanks, Greg. All right, we'll see you on the trail. All right, let's go check out some property. Oh my God. So it's not like it's super deep or anything, but I mean to access the property back. So we're about a mm, couple acres in at least going to up, up over some uh, hilly areas and stuff like that. So very little, uh, but now we're hitting some low line, so I'm going to flip you around. Yeah, that's... That's what we've been running on into this weekend, a little bit on the damp side. But that's that's why we're up here is to find out. I like that little whatever the hole in the wall bar was where all the uh so, where all, all the floods were at. Don't fight it. Heavy still. Oh, oh yeah, we're going through the slogging through the I know. little bit of wetland there. <laughs> the ice build up on your I know snowshoe a little. Right. Well, Eric had high heels on his back of his snowshoe. Crazy. Awesome. Well, that was a fun hike. It was. It was. Well, hey y'all, that was a fun little hike. Oh my gosh. So we tracked back uh, a little over. I don't even really remember. It was like a third of a mile. Sure. Third of a mile to the back part of this property. Yep. A lot of uh, rolling dips. Apparently they developed some uh, logging, potential logging. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to explain. They were working on getting the logs out of this area. Right. So they dug these trenches out and put kind of like, I don't know, flooded it so to speak yeah and to help float them out the logs, but, right. so anyways now there's a lot of there's four or five dips in low-lying areas so really marshy it's not going to really work out for us I don't and think for so. the development to get a uh to build a home back there and yeah. be able to drive back there at right. the same token right right so the far uh, right now you can see it's quite it's quite clear right here yeah. but the farther you go back it gets a little more dense. It got pretty thick back there, but I have to say it was um, a bit of a learning curve. So we made our way up here, obviously. Yeah. Um, and we snowshoed the property. So I think that was um, a great perspective. It was. It was a good perspective to kind of see what potentially we're getting into, what we're looking for, what we're not looking for. And we just want to thank um, Breck and Eric, who were having our guides, obviously, up here and um, have been great as far as looking and searching out property for us. So thank you. Um, Eric has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to oh, yeah. all like the trees and we the land have, and all that fun kind of stuff. We have someone in the know around and, here. And, and just for the record, out of all four of us, 
I didn't fall in the snow. Ha! Just saying. <laughs> no, or maybe until now. Just kidding. Anyways, it's this been lots be of fun. This will edited out. Okay? That's right. No, no, no. Anyways, have it's I ever been... introduced to the American whitewash? No, so... Take it back. No. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for coming along. Um, yeah. So it has been a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. Um, a bit of an education for us, and we can't wait to do it again. So we're still on for the property search, and again, want to just thank um, Eric and Brock. So cheers. Oh yeah. Well, speak of the devil. Well, hello. Cheers. Get in cheers. here. Let's do it. It's Marquette's finest. Yes. Grand rabbit. It's a grand rabbit. All right. Are you into it, honey? Yeah. There we go. This is Cheers. the way to end. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you all later. And oh. uh, we'll keep you all posted. Thanks so much for joining us on uh, our first trip up here to uh, check out property. In the UP. In the UP. Okay. Cheers, guys. A. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Eric.